Hey, how's it going guys and welcome back to Monster Tamer News, the spicy segment on this channel where we go over the past week's updates in the world of monster taming. This week we have received the official box arts of the Pokemon Diamond and Pearl remakes and Legends Arceus as well as their release dates, a new Temtem update which brings forth a new mythical Temtem and some new information regarding Monster Hunter Stories 2 coming off of the Monster Hunter digital event which took place on the 26th. That said, definitely make sure to subscribe if you have been watching these videos for a while and enjoy this type of content. Monster Taming is our chief focus. So yeah, let's dive in. Alright, so first things first, we have the confirmation that Pokemon Brilliant Diamond and Shining Pearl are set for release on November 19th of this year, and two months later, the Legends Arceus game will release on January 28th, 2022. I've already made two videos talking about this, and you can check out them both if you want to hear my sort of thoughts on the whole thing. Uh, we've also received the box arts for both games, so there's also that. The latest Monster Hunter digital event featured a lot of Rise content, but more on topic with today's video, featured a new trailer which showcased more of the game's plot and the strange rage rays which are causing monsters to grow enraged, and it's your job as the main character alongside your Rathalos to put an end to it. We also get confirmation that Avinia, a character from the last game, will be making a reappearance, and she'll be a recruitable battle buddy. They also went over a couple of the game's features, including the monster recruitment mechanic, which involves going into dens and sort of stealing eggs, and the right of channeling, both of which are very similar to their predecessors from the first game, so we're not going to spend too much time talking about them here. Let me know uh, in the future if you want me to make a video going over the right of channeling mechanic. It's not too difficult, but at first glance it might be a little confusing. The Laxidase Kickstarter is currently sitting at around $50,000 USD, which is double its original goal. We've already reached two stretch goals, which include an expansion to the soundtrack and 10 more nanims to recruit. The Kickstarter has around 16 days to go, so definitely check it out, it'll be linked in the description. The latest Monster Crown content pack is now live, which includes some new expanded areas to the game, including the Deep Woods, and five brand new monsters, two of which were legendaries. Jungro and Peregrine are more accessible now as well. That said, I've got to catch up on Monster Crown, so expect either a let's play or a stream uh, either this week or early next week. We got a new patch quest devlog which goes over some of the upcoming content for the next early access update. Uh, firstly we got two new zones that are coming being the fossil and volcanic zones and five new mountable monsters to inhabit said zones. These monsters include Gelatops, a dinosaur trickster mount that can clone itself, Steagle, a monster that can actually steal other enemies' attacks and utilize them against them, Antillery, an ant that can utilize a new tar mechanic, which if you take damage whilst uh, sort of covered in tar, you'll ignite and do extra damage, and Saber Floof, which kind of reminds me of Bidoof the Almighty. Oh, and one more, we got Snail Palm, a snail that can create explosive slime trails to zone your enemies. Liam also brought back a couple mounts as well that were cut due to not having a home. He created a tester mode as well, which you can play the new content uh, in part while you wait for the new update, which is definitely pretty cool. The latest Temtem update is live, including a brand new lair featuring a new mythical Temtem named Volgon, an epic electric dragon. If you want information of how exactly to get this new Temtem, I've created a guide for your convenience. That said, the update also adjusted the fishing system and added two new routes to the game, one being directly linked to obtaining Volgon and the other being a route extended from Tukma and acts as sort of a mid to early game route. Ento Drive just updated to version 0.3, which includes a new power plant area, 10 new monsters, and the first mythical monster. This update also brings forth some new battles, new NPCs, new music, UI, etc. The Steam page has everything listed for your convenience as well. Alright guys, so we're going to be shifting gears now into rapid fire mode as the rest of this week's updates are quite quick and easy to get through. First off, and really exciting, is that there will be an Eternal Exodus demo for us to play this June. Definitely excited for that. We got a few new images for Sky Climber showcasing some new monsters. Apparently Sonic's making an appearance in the SMT mobile title, which is pretty funny. Ninth Dawn 3 is currently on sale on Steam for 45% off until the end of the month. Here we have a clip of Final Stardust first plano. God. We get a quick look at the Viridian Valleys and Paleo Pines, a new hairstyle for Opa Magica. The Guild of Dragons Discord server is now live and will be linked in the description. Some really cool looking Zokai. A look at the mountain biome for Amber Roots. Some Shrutini variants for Buddymon. Some new enemies for Xenoscape. Some sunglasses for your creatures in Creature Keeper, which is hilarious. And we get to see some new scientific type Druggymon. So yeah guys, a pretty interesting week overall. Definitely some 
very noteworthy updates. I'm really looking forward to what's to come with Monster Hunter Stories 2, and I'm currently really enjoying Shin Megami Tensei 3 on a side note. Anyways, if you guys do enjoy Monster Taming content, please make sure to like the video and of course subscribe for everything Monster Taming. I will see you guys in the next one.